Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. God is indeed a good God, isn't he? So that God is a good God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. All you look like Easter this morning. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Ushers in yellow look like sunlight. Glory be to God. God is a good God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to welcome you this morning to the house of the Lord. And thank God for this wonderful Easter Sunday morning. Thank God for the very first one when Jesus came out of the tomb. A conqueror over hell, death and the grave. He's at the right hand of God the Father today making intercession for us. We just bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Just want to remind you to please keep praying for Suriname. Amen. God is doing something that is faster than we can catch up with him. He is such a wonderful God and we bless his name. Uh, last week, 150 people got together to pray. They're praying, fasting and praying for 40 days before something will happen, before Lighthouse would move into that nation. We just thank God for what he's doing. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Glory be to the name of the Lord. It means that our profile has changed completely. We have to behave not like a church in Beltsville. We have to behave like we are the headquarters. It means that your, your, your stakes or your stocks have gone up. Amen. Glory be to God. And so we've got to, to rise to the occasion because it's not only here we have the church, but the church is spreading all over the place. And we just give God glory and give God praise. He is such a good God and we honor him this morning for his faithfulness. Let's join them as they pray. They're fasting and praying for 40 days. And then all of the big stuff will happen at the end of 40 days of prayer and fasting. We just bless the name of the Lord. God is a good God. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Not every day you will have bad news. You've got to have some good news. Amen. All those who are looking for bad news every day say praise God. Oh, y'all listening. Amen. Got to be some good news. Got to be some good news. Please keep Brother Paris and uh, Master Lee in prayer and uh, uh, folk there in uh, Guyana. We just bless the name of the Lord. They say to me, Sister Gail, they think I forget everybody. Amen. Sister Gail, Sister Edel, Sister, Sister Deborah, Sister Maidon. You want me to keep going? Glory be to the name of the Lord. God is a wonderful God. God has opened the door for us to even acquire a piece of land that is large enough, 4,500 square feet of property to, to build that church there. And we just bless the name of the Lord. We even have a seed of $5,000 already. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Oh, y'all very quiet this morning. God is doing some wonderful things. Glory be to the name of the Lord. And we give him praise and give him thanks for what he is doing. Amen. Amen. And some of us are going to sow some of those tax returns that we get. We'll sow some seed into the acquisition of that property. Thank you, Sister Collett. And thank you, Sister Daphne. I'm looking for some more people here this morning. That we are going to sow something in to make sure that we have that property. Amen. 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 Glory be to the name of the Lord. God be glorified. We're sending Orin down to to Guyana on the 19th, I think it's the 19th of May. He's traveling, going down there, and um, uh, Sister Gloria is going to be ministering from the 21st, and we are trusting God for a significant move of his spirit. And we'll have Brother Paris take Orin around to see the property so that we can start putting things together. It's better when you draw the plan here. Don't let them draw the plan down there. You know? <laughs> Amen. And so God is doing some wonderful things, and we just give him praise and give him thanks. We had two services on Good Friday, one at 9 and one at 7.30, and we thank God for those who came for the first service, as well as those who came for the evening service. We understand that Good Friday here is a working day. In the Caribbean, in Africa, in Latin America, everything 
We shut down on Good Friday. People go to church on Good Friday. Church is bursting at the seams with people on Good Friday. But we just thank God that we're able to have two services for those who work and those who decide that they're not going any place other than the house of the Lord. So we just bless God and praise Him for all that He has done. All of our regular services continue this week. And we thank God for what He is doing. want to encourage you as we continue to worship God and give God praise and give God thanks. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God is faithful and God is wonderful. And so let's continue to honor him and bless his name. If you're here for the very first time today, we want to welcome you to the house of the Lord. If you would be kind enough to stand, we recognize your ushers will come to you. If you're here for the very first time, I want to ask you to stand. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. We're happy that you're here this morning and we just thank God for you. Please make sure you, you shake hands with these folks. They got them on my left and on my right. Let's sing the welcome song and please, you're not paced up to your seat. You can get around and shake hands with these folks. Let them know that you appreciate them coming to the house of the Lord. There's a welcome here. There's, there's, a, a, there's a young fellow on my left. There's a Christian welcome here. There's a welcome here. There's, there's a welcome here. There's a Christian welcome here. Greet somebody in Jesus' name. Tell them that you love them in Jesus' name. We will work together. Jesus loves you, everybody smiles. Jesus loves you. Praise the name of the Lord. And could you stand with me this morning, everybody? I look at you all. Y'all look so, I don't know, so stoic this morning. Hallelujah. All right, we'll sing the song. Yes, I love you with the love of the Lord. And I want those of you in the West Coast and those of you in the East Coast to just come across and give each other a hug. Some people have never had a hug in their life. Don't know when last they had a hug. I want you to move from your seat. You, I mean, these seats are paid for. You don't have to worry about the seats. And hug somebody in the name of Jesus. Yes, I love you with the love of the Lord. Yes, I, I love, love you. Come on, you gotta move over your seat. The Lord. Oh, I, I see in you the glory of the Lord. Yes, I love you with the Lord. Yes, I love you. Some people ain't moved yet. I love you with the love of the Lord. Yes, I love you with the love of the Lord. I see in you. Glory. I love you with the love of the Lord. Yes, I love you with the love of the Lord. Yes, I love you with the love of the Lord. For I see in you the glory of the King. Yes, I love you with the love of the Lord. Yes. Yes, I love you with the love of the Lord. Yes, I love you with the love of the Lord. For I see in you the glory of the King. Yes, I love you with the love of the Lord. Yes, I love Back you. on high from the castle of my heart. The, the castle, castle of my heart. heart. The castle of my heart. Love is not flat. Go on high. The castle of my heart. When the king is in the castle of my heart. The castle of my heart. When the king is in the castle of my heart. Lying high in the sky. Let the whole world know. Let the whole world know. Let the whole world know. Flying high in the sky, let the whole world know that the king is in residence. Oh yes, the flag flown high, the castle of my heart, the castle of my heart, 
the castle of my heart, love is not a lie. Lord, I. Oh, the castle of my heart, and the key is the rapid dancing. Fly it high in the sky, let the whole world know, let the whole world know. Let the whole world know. Fly it high in the sky, let the whole world know. That the king is in residence. That the king is in residence. That the king is in residence. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Oh, it feels so good this morning to see you walking one another. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Isn't God a good God? Bless the name of the Lord. You want to remember to pray for Amoya. Amoya is one of our young uh, teens in the congregation. She fell down the stairs and hurt her back. She's at home this morning. Uh, we're just trusting God that nothing, you know, uh, happened to Amoya. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Grew up in Lighthouse. Praise the name of the Lord. Father, we lift Amoya before you this morning. That you would touch her back in the name of Jesus. That there be no broken bones. Father, we are trusting you for complete healing in Jesus' name. Touch her body, Father. And to you we will give glory and praise and honor for all that you have done. The devil is a liar. And God, he will not distract or do any damage. And to you we will give all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. And praise God. At this time, I want to challenge you to give. When you give, God gives back to you how? Good measure. Pressed down, shaken together, and running over. We've got so much to thank God for. You know something? I drove in this morning and I, a spot was left for me at the front. You know, I park, I park at the front of the building. And I started to check and see what's going on there. I noticed that the Sienna, Brian drives a Sienna, which I still own. Juanita drives the Suzuki. Brian making a speech. <laughs> Notice I see anything. I drive the, uh, the Suzuki's at the front of the parking lot. I noticed Phoebe with a RAV4. At the part at the front, which oh, I had to I had to do some other things too. Then I noticed Adele has an infinity park at the front there. When she comes to me to find out what what is this and what is that, then Valerie. Couldn't get a space, so she had to park in the general parking lot. Oh, this folk ought to bless God for his goodness. They ought to give God praise and give God thanks. Let me hear them complain. Let me hear them complain. Let me hear them ever complain. I'll remind them of the goodness of God and how God has been good to them. How he has been good to them. Come on, bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Say like Joseph, what the enemy meant for evil, God has turned around for good. Glory be to the name of the Lord. And they pointed out Lakeisha in the back has a brand new uh, 2017 RAV4. Y'all doing well, very well. Is this a RAV4 church? Yes, yes. I got to figure out if it's a RAV4 church. I want to see some, some bins. I want to see some other big name vehicle pulling up in the parking lot. God is a good God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. God is a wonderful God. And we just give him praise and give him thanks and honor and glory for all that he means to us. So I want to challenge you as you give. God is going to give back to you good measure. Press down, shaking together and running over. Hallelujah. When he is going to come and lead us in the, in the confession as we give. This is Lighthouse. We are Lighthouse. I just give God thanks that I don't have a car note. Nobody likes a Suzuki, but I like it. I don't have a car note. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I give thanks. It takes me where I need to go. 
and it gets me to where I need. Yes, I see a witness, Michael. Amen. Praise the Lord. No car note, and I'm all right. <laughs> all y'all with the new vehicles, I celebrate with you, but I thank God I don't have to pay no car note. Amen. <laughs> if you have your given utensils, you have your tithes, your offering, whatever you want to give. We've developed a custom here in Lighthouse that we declare and we speak over our finances. Even if you don't have something to give, if you have your wallet, I know your credit card, your bank card, all your money is inside there, your PayPal, your phone, if you use your phone to give online, and we're going to decree and declare some blessings over our finances in Jesus' name. The Lord says that we have the power in our tongue so we can speak life to our finances, we can speak death to our finances, but we here at Lighthouse speak life and abundance to our finances in Jesus' name. Amen. On the count of three, we're going to do it together. One, two, three. My sowing and giving are producing my financial future. I expect abundance because I sow bountifully. The truth concerning giving has caused me to be a cheerful giver. My trust in God, not my circumstances, motivates me to give. God loves the way I give. Because I bring my whole time, my finances will be abundant, for God will guard them from the devourer. God gives me his ability for financial success. I have abundance for every good work. I am a blessed giver. Hallelujah. This is Lighthouse. Amen. Yeah. 
in our hearts in Jesus name the song says your past life has been discarded and God gave us a brand new start so we give God praise that there is absolutely no condemnation for them who are in Christ Jesus praise the Lord if you have been redeemed put your hands above your heads and give the almighty God the Abba Father the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords a big 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 round of applause and a shout of praise because there is no condemnation in my heart there is no condemnation over my life because jesus is risen and i am risen with him indeed praise the name of jesus hallelujah we thank god for this day it's not just a religious day for us as believers but it is a very serious day where we get a chance to, every day we celebrate God's resurrection, but today in particular, the whole world stops to recognize Jesus Christ as the risen Savior and the only Savior of the world. So we give God praise and honor because he inhabits the praises of his people. He didn't have to die for us. He made us. He could have just killed us. But he sent Jesus Christ. To be the mediator for your sins and my sins. So we have no condemnation in Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm trying to find my... I think I remember. Pastor's birthday is coming up. And he's going to be the big six zero, And we want to celebrate him. The scripture says to give honor to whom honor is due. And so we want to celebrate this man of God. Because he could have died about nine or ten years or so ago when the enemy adversely attacked him. But we thank God that he has spared his life to see 60. And he's going to see, he's not seen it yet. He's going to see 60 in Jesus' name and beyond and to live into a ripe old age, past the three score and ten and more. And so will our first lady. If you want to live long, Speak life over your life. Choose life. Don't choose death. Choose life. If you're sick, choose life. Say, I choose life because God says, I will not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. I will not die before my appointed time. I will die my ripe old age more than three score and ten. We really have the power to declare what we want to see happen manifest in our lives. Every time they greet the Queen of England, they say what? Long live the queen. So tell yourself, long live me. <laughs> long live our pastor. Long live our first lady. Long live your husband. Long live your wife. Long live your children. Long live me, Juanita. Long live me. And I will not just live long, but enjoy the good of the land. I don't want to live long and I can't hear properly. I can't see good. I can't smell. My knees hurting. I'm going to live long and enjoy the good of the land in Jesus' name. Amen. They calling me Sister Sunshine today. You know, this is Lighthouse, so we bright, we shine bright, right? Sunshine. <laughs> I want to thank everybody who has given to our Bible program. Those who have given in kind, those who have given money, we really appreciate your giving. And the people who receive these items are very appreciative as well. Some of them send pictures. They can't really send videos because... Where we send it to, they don't have all that technology like we do. But they're really grateful and they look forward every year. Instead of sending them in bulk like we did last year because it was very costly, we're still paying for that. So we're still accepting donations. But that's not the main reason I'm talking. I want to tell you how blessed we are. And when we give into other people's lives, what we might think is nothing to us is major to them. And so instead of giving a whole lot at Christmas now, we're going to do it in part so that we can ease the financial burden on ourselves. We don't want to stop giving because charity is something that's really good and we should keep doing that. And when we give, God pours back into our bosom more than we can even imagine 
and think and even ask for. So I want to thank you for giving to our barrel fund and our barrel donation program. If you would like to help Lighthouse to raise money and raise funds, TD Bank has partnered with us and they have an affinity program. What this program is, it's a fundraiser that TD Bank offers to its nonprofits. And whenever you go to TD Bank, if you have an account, then you let them know you want to use Lighthouse as your affinity program. And the uh, number for us is on the screen. You can get it in Welcome Center. So when if you go and you have an existing account, they will give us $10. But if you open a new account, they will give you $50 and they'll give us $25. So far, we have raised $600 and about $36 from May of last year to this year. And I think that's phenomenal. So we thank God that they're working with us. And they're right in the community, and we appreciate them for working with us. Flem program, Couples Night Part 2 is going to happen in May on the 26th. What this is, it's mainly for the couples. So some of the singles, like myself, we've been asking what's going to happen for us. Well, if you want to come and hear from the couples, you're more than welcome to. But maybe on that night, we'll just go out bowling and do something for ourselves as singles because we don't want to much pressure us asking us when you're getting married when is your wedding no no in god's appointed time we will be married okay what you all need to do is make sure that your marriages are okay so we can take examples from you and we will come and sit at your feet and learn from you and gain all that we need to know so when our time comes we're really ready so on the 26th of may 7 30 to 10 p.m right here is couples night part two the first one was really off the charts this one is more intimate, so when you come, there's going to be a lot planned for you. Make sure that you can get here. Child care is going to be available, and more information will become available as the time draws near. If you're desirous of entering into the waters of baptism here at Lighthouse, we have baptism classes that are ongoing. If you would really like to join one of these classes, we're, ask, we're asking that you will go on our website and register. Everything is so easy. You go online and you click on uh, resources and you'll find the entire form there. On the very first page, you'll see become a member. The form is right there. So when we get about 10 people, we'll host a class because it's it, it doesn't really make sense to have a class of one or two people. We don't want to turn anybody away, but then we don't have a whole lot of staff. So the more people who register, if you, and what baptism simply means is a declaration of your faith that you've accepted jesus as savior so now you just want to do like jesus did and make it known that look i'm following the lord and after that then you'll be discipled and you come to church and you get involved in a ministry and we follow the disciples like they did they followed jesus they got involved and then they went out and they did like he did and so i'm really glad a lighthouse has another branch of lighthouse and more branches coming I've been telling pastor he can send me. I'm willing to go. I, I know that headquarters is fine. It's well taken care of. I've done my due dil diligence. You can send me. Here am I, Lord. Send me. I will go to the nations. But I'm, I'm still going to be here. Don't, don't worry. I'm not leaving. I'm not going to abandon you. Coming up on this Friday is our prayer vigil. Every month we have a prayer vigil. This is a very, very important service. You know, sometimes there are some things that you just need to travail a little bit more before the throne of grace for God to give you that extra strength. So we do that on a third Friday, and this week it's going to be, it should be 10 o'clock, not, not 7.30. It's after all the auxiliaries have met. And this is a time where we come, we share testimonies, we bring our requests before the Lord. I remember one person um, put her on the spot. She's wearing a nice orange hat on my right side. I think the only person orange over here that's really put you on the spot. I remember one one prayer vigil. She came and and had a, a request that she wanted the Lord to really work for her. And the people there rallied around her and we really prayed and trust God. And the next time she came back with a testimony. So it works. Prayer works. Prayer changes things. So I'm encouraging you, come out on the third Friday night to a prayer vigil from 10 o'clock. To about 12 1 o'clock and pray and trust the lord and watch him do wonders in your life my very last announcement pastor is jonah bus trip it's going to be on the 24th of june if you have
put down your name and you haven't paid as yet, we're going to run into a problem of getting seats together, number one, and um, we're going to have a difficulty to make sure we get the date. So what we're asking you to do, if you put your name down, so please, 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 if you can, between now, this Sunday and next Sunday, complete your payment so we can confirm the bus and confirm our seat. That way, we go together and there are a number of things you want to target. Number one is fellowship. Number two, it's a bus trip where we're going to go and shop a little bit. Number three, it's a chance to evangelize the lost. So if you have a friend who may not come to church with you, this is an opportunity to bring them so that they can hear the word of God. Of course, they do it in a theatrical way, but the essence is the word of God is preached, is demonstrated. So we're leaving here at 7 a.m. and we'll be back at 7 p.m. at the church parking lot. We're going for the 11 a.m. show for adults, according to Sight and Song, 13 years and older is considered an adult. The price is 150 And for children, 12 years and under is $75. Zero to one year is free. If you need any more information, Sister Valerie, I saw her box me wrong. She's in the Welcome Center. You'll be able to get all of that information. Please make sure that you pay for your tickets as soon as possible. This is the third Sunday, and the healthcare department is going to give us a health tip every third Sunday. And featuring this third Sunday is Sister Grace Isaac, and she's doing the health tip for April's third Sunday. There's a video. Please plug in the aux cable. 